It's Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz along with Michelle Benash. And, you know, before you know it, my favorite time of the year will be here. We're just days away from the official start of winter when most people kind of look and say, gee, I can't wait for warm weather. Well, I'm, <laughs> you know me, I'm just the opposite. So I'm really looking forward to this. And Michelle, uh, who's going to get us all excited about uh, the ski season? One of our favorite people, Mickey McWilliams, Executive Director of the Michigan Snow Sports Industries Association. And welcome back to the show, Mickey. And, you know, as Dave mentioned, folks are kind of really gear- gearing up and, and we're about to enter the heart of, of snow season and ski season. So tell us a little bit about how this the ski industry across the state is gearing up this year? Oh uh, well, we're all really, really excited for snow, <laughs> and uh, and it's the ski areas. Um, it's really interesting because of the way that our weather has reacted over the last few years. Um, almost every single ski area in our state has added more snow making equipment. Um, more guns they have uh, they're able to make snow whenever it's cold enough which is usually right around 28 degrees so no matter what the weather is there's snow on our slopes yeah you know that's a that's a big thing to remember because i know that it there seems to be this psychological barrier that if there's not snow in your backyard then maybe you're downstate and you're not up in northern michigan you know where there's a, a better um, likelihood of natural snow plus that that man-made snow they just don't think about it so right. you know people have to remember there's there's an opportunity to make snow all over the place. Right, and most ski areas now have um, uh, real-time webcams on their, pointed right on their slopes so people can see that uh, when they're at home. If you just go onto your computer, you can, for almost every ski area in our state, you can see what's happening right there on the slopes. That's a good point. Um, you know, as as we enter the the, the you know the important ski season, uh, the holiday uh, season, and then and then beyond, um, there's still a lot of people who have either never skied or haven't skied in a long time. Um, how can they either learn or be kind of reminded how to ski in an affordable fashion? That we have a program um, that goes across the state. It's um, I think 24 ski areas in Michigan um, are doing this program this year. It's called Discover Michigan Skiing. And it's not just for skiing, it's for snowboarding, too, um, and cross-country skiing. Uh, what you get is a lesson, rental equipment, and a lift ticket, all for one low price. For uh, snowboarding, it's $40. For downhill skiing, it's 30 And for cross-country, it's $20. Uh, it's, it's a really great deal because you learn the right way with equipment that fits you. Um, so, you know, so you can go out and enjoy the slopes uh, during your lesson and then after your lesson um, for the rest of the day. Uh, so it's a, a very, very affordable way, and it's the right way to learn how to ski. So that fee, um, does that also cover the, the actual um, lift ticket and yep. such? Uh, lift ticket, rental equipment, and a lesson. Wow. So, yeah, it's a really, really good deal. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's the best way to learn. So you can, and like, say maybe you're a skier and you want to try snowboarding. It's a great way to learn how to snowboard. Yeah, I've never tried that myself. My ski equipment is so old. I should just do this just to use some new rental <laughs> you equipment. You should. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. the way to do it. Um, well, it, so the, the opportunities are out there. Uh, where are they available? Where is this program available? Like, it's not at every place. But, not, not at every yeah. place, but it's available at almost every ski area around the state. Um, there's a list on our website, but it's um, 24 ski areas from Apple Mountain to Mount Zion, um, treetops, Boyne, Boyne Highlands, Shady Creek, um, uh, in the uh, southeast Michigan area, Mount Holly, Mount Brighton, Pine Knob, they're all they're all there. Hmm. Sounds good. Well, you know how do you how do you get people kind of excited about the uh, the ski season? You know, I I am just like uh, flabbergasted that people don't understand <laughs> and don't get in, into you know skiing in, in winter. I mean, what do you tell people? Well, you know, it's Michigan turns cold for for one you know three months out of the year every year and it's this is like one of the most fun ways you can um, take advantage of our beautiful win- winter in Michigan is to get out and enjoy it on our slopes and our trails um, I mean it really makes a whole it's a it's a whole mind changer once you um, learn you know take the commitment to learn how to do one of these outdoor activities it really changes your mind about how you feel about michigan's winter it's just a wonderful place to be and you you don't have to do things like you you know you don't have to go out and and snowboard to enjoy it you can just go out and take a snowshoe walk or just um 
uh, or cross-country ski on some of our trails. It's just beautiful out there, and I, and I really encourage everyone to get out and enjoy it. And, and I want to make sure I mention, too, that for fourth graders, it's free in Michigan to ski. Wow. Um, in, in which way? How do you take advantage of that? It's, uh, it's called our, you get a, what's called our coldest cool ski and ride passport for fourth graders. And the, the passport allows each fourth grader to ski three times at each of the 20 participating ski areas across our state. So, uh, so, you know, you can go three times to Boyne and three times to, um, Shaney Creek and three, et cetera, et cetera, all, all around our state. Hmm, that's great. Uh, it is. It's a really wonderful thing. And, and what we want to do is we want kids to love skiing and snowboarding and being outside in winter activities when they're young so that they take that, um, you know, with them through their whole life and they enjoy winter instead of uh, sitting in front of video games. And Mickey, I know, you know, we've talked to several of the ski resorts and, and we look through our events listening and it's not just that people are skiing. I mean, they've got some of these these ski hills have events happening almost every weekend All to the bring time. the family to just get out and enjoy things. Right. Right. There's it, it's there's not just it's not just for being outside in the winter. There's indoor activities too. There's um, there's all sorts of things that are skiers. There there really are beautiful world class resorts, um, and and it is important to take advantage of them, especially in the winter when there's so much going on. There's sleigh rides. There's um, dog sled rides. There's ice skating. Uh, there's uh, indoor water parks. The whole bit. You know, up in the UP, uh, they certainly uh, tend to get uh, tons of snow, lots of snow, and and um, they they really aren't known for downhill skiing very much. But there are some opportunities to downhill a uh, downhill ski up there as well. Most people, I think, think about them for snowmobiling and such. But can you can you talk about any of those um, those downhill ski operations sure. up there? Sure, there's there's some really wonderful downhill ski areas up in the uh, Upper Peninsula. Big Powderhorn is is a very large for Michigan, uh, a really pretty decently large size uh, ski area. A wonderful, wonderful train. Mount Bohemia up in the Keweenaw Peninsula is it's ski it's powder skiing like you're out west. Yeah, that's, um, that's as close as to the big mountain skiing as we would be able to right, offer. Right, right. The vertical the vertical is uh, is like it is out west, and uh, the snow is as well. It's it's pretty interesting how. Uh, the topography changes when you get up into the Keweenaw Peninsula, and you do have mountains up there. It's yeah. it's really pretty neat. Yeah, it sure is. Well, I just love being uh, in the uh, Upper Peninsula, especially at winter time, because oh, it's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. All that great scenery and uh, any opportunity to ski in that uh, kind of big snow country, that far western UP. Right, it's is just really it's wonderful. And there's so many. The ski areas are so close together there that you could you can literally ski in a couple in a day. I mean, if you want to. Go to one in the morning and go to another one in the afternoon. They're just a few miles apart. Well, and, and you've mentioned some of the deals and discounts available uh, through your organization, but there are a lot of other uh, discounts that the uh, ski operators uh, offer, either through right. the web, their websites or other affiliations. Right, and we try to keep uh, kind of a running tab on them on our website, so that uh, so that so that uh, folks can go to our website and then uh, skip. If you click on a button that's called um, Events and Discounts, it'll give you a listing of what's going on at our skiers, too. Fantastic. It's a good idea. And, of course, if you're uh, just looking for a reason to go skiing, uh, a deal and a discount, that that's always a good uh, reason for me to, to do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so check it out today. Go to GoSkiMichigan.com. That is GoSkiMichigan.com. For more information, I want to thank uh, Mickey McWilliams, Executive Director of the Michigan Snow Sports Industries Association, for joining us today and, I hope, getting us all excited about the the holiday season and ski season as well. Well, that's all the time we're going to have this week for the Travel Michigan radio program. We'd like to thank Mark Blackwell for engineering today's program. And Michelle, thank you for joining us here today. And on, on my behalf and on behalf of George Zimmerman and all the staff at Travel Michigan, we'd like to thank you for joining us and invite you to join us next week on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.